Joining us on NDTV this afternoon is Sajid, uh, Sajid Premadasa, the leader of the opposition in Sri Lanka and uh, the head of the SJB uh, Opposition Alliance. Mr. Premadasa, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, can I ask you first that, uh, you know, what expectations, if any, do you have uh, from uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe? Will he, this time round as Prime Minister, you think, be able to do anything uh, to, to uh, sort of uh, uh, allay the fears of people who are still protesting? The Prime Minister was chosen by the President. The confidence in the Prime Minister has been established by the President. But I have to say the appointment was made without consulting the major opposition parties. Whether the crisis is going to be sorted out is a question left to the government. We as a constructive and progressive opposition we are determined to provide constructive, productive support for any positive proposals that are in hand to alleviate the suffering of the common masses. And we will support these proposals while being in opposition because we have always requested for the president to remove himself from politics because that is the outcry of the masters of Sri Lanka. And we cannot go back on the principled stand that we took. We are politicians of credibility and integrity. And people have trusted us to be the loyal opposition. And we will ensure that the people's wishes will be fulfilled. So while we ask for constitutional change, for the elimination of the presidential system and for the resignation of the president. We will constructively and progressively support proposals that are put forth for alleviating the suffering of the masses right. of our motherland. But Mr. Premadasa, there's no sign that uh, President Rajapaksa is going to step down. Uh, is this going to result in a deadlock uh, for the foreseeable future? And also, even if he does resign, uh, whoever takes charge of the country is, is faced with a very difficult task of rebuilding the country's economy. It is because of the enormity of the task that the proposal that was mooted was an all-party government, an interim all-party government. But it seems that this is not an all-party government, but a government that is confined to a selected few and that cannot be tolerated. We have to understand, we in the opposition received a mandate to be in opposition, not in government. 